I get asked this question a lot as to how to learn test automation. Today I'm going to share five areas I recommend people to learn uh, in order to be effective in test automation. The general way people go about learning automation is they start off with Selenium with Java because that's the most popular uh, keyword search, if you will, for, for automation, test automation, right? Which is perhaps in my box probably not the best way to start because first off, UI automation is tricky and, and it's uh, more flaky and it's hard. Uh, secondly, Java is not a very good language to start with because object oriented concepts come in and and uh, it sometimes can be a bit tricky if you don't have a very good if you have a decent programming background so start off with an easier language like javascript or python but that's not the only problem with the approach people have they take a very very direct approach in terms of just learning the library for the automation which is just i'd say 30 percent of the job there's a lot around it which you need to learn in order to be effective and that's what I'm going to talk about. So generally when I'm uh, helping out teams who are on a transformation journey especially who have been more of a hybrid of uh, agile and waterfall and now they're more move, trying to move into a more of a DevOps culture um, having their CI CD pipelines up and running. For them I usually draft a uh, test automation uh, learning program uh, of my own and I'm going to share the five key areas I, I, I usually recommend teams or build uh, for teams. So the first one is testing fundamentals. It's assumed that testers know how to test but I have noticed that a lot of time for good automation engineers is spent on fixing testing first because sometimes testers aren't really sure as to how to identify risks how to be good at exploratory testing um, and how to develop a decent test strategy. Have a target vision in your mind as to what your SDLC process should look like in order for you to have a quick feedback and, and, and you can, uh, you know, at speed deliver a quality product. So that's the first place. Uh, I call that testing acumen. So that's what I start off with. Next one is programming. Um, my advice if you want to be if you're serious about test automation there is no there is no escape from learning automation uh, learning programming you have to do it just just uh, pull up your sleeves and, and it's not really hard guys it's just it's just a matter of putting your head and heart to it it's not a big deal so uh, in programming you might want to do one source control management tool git of course uh, can be GitHub, Bitbucket, whichever you're comfortable with or whichever your organization uh, is using. Um, secondly, you want to start off with the basics of whichever language, programming language you, you, your your team is working in or you want to start learning with. Um, if, if you have no programming background, uh, I'd recommend using JavaScript or Python to begin with because they're a bit easier to pick. Once you've done the programming bit, basics, then you move on to learning the tech stack. Now that is almost always missing uh, and, and, and I have seen rarely people putting focus on that, which is a key. Unless you don't know how your tech stack is working, it's really hard for you to, to develop decent automation. If you're doing service automation, API automation, you need to learn how, to, um, how your APIs work, if you're a bit rusty around that area, how your services work, what does your backend stack look like what are your endpoints do you have a mesh gateway in between all of that stuff you need to know how 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 your backend is working in order for you to divide your api tests across different phases that's the second uh, that's the third bit uh, if you are doing ui automation then understand how your uh, front end works uh, what platform you're using angular react js whatever uh, and how how the browser works uh, what, what requests uh, you're you're sending back to a service what are the responses coming back which components are you using so it becomes easier for you to understand uh, how your dom is how you, how your dom looks like of course so all of that is critical once you've done that 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 bit then we talk about automation tools or libraries um, whichever if you're doing uh, ui api uh, that's a separate subject about tools so we're not going to go there 
last but not least automation frameworks that's crucial uh, and that's what separates uh, poorly written automation from decently uh, or, or good written automation test scripts so you need to learn what i call uh, the pillars of automation framework design uh, those are maintainability, reusability, robustness, and scalability. Nothing fancy. This has been here for decades. But just with automation, people feel like they don't need to learn any design patterns or practices. Need to learn what are the basics of automation frameworks, how to generate test data, save test data, build exception handling, depending on what library you are using or, and, and what technology your tests are uh, testing. So but you need to learn the basics of building an automation framework with these five steps uh, i usually uh, have a beginner track and and this is like the beginner basic once you've done this then you can develop reasonable automation frameworks you can contribute to automation frameworks and and, and uh, i hope uh, you know you do a good job so it takes time it's not that easy uh, you know just it's not just about just learning the automation library that doesn't cut it uh, this might seem a bit lengthier of a process but trust me uh, if you skip if you try to take shortcuts here uh, you definitely pay the price uh, down the line thank you for watching if you have any questions add them in the comments below if you find this video useful please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel to join us in redefining software quality. See you next time.